Welcome. I'm so happy to be part of this Union Tribune Successful Aging Expo. Thank you for coming and joining me to learn a little bit about older adults and technology and hear about the experiences we've learned with older adults at San Diego Oasis. I will stick around and, of course, look forward to your questions and comments at the end. So let's get started. You may have read the statistic or heard about it. Um, the Wall Street Journal published a very important comparison that being socially isolated and lonely is as terrible for your cognitive and your physical health as if you're smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Prior to this, we knew it was a bad thing. We just didn't have a very concrete, relatable statistic. So being alone for a long period of time, socially isolated, is as bad as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Let me back up a little bit and tell you about what successful aging actually means and what does the research say about it. Um, Union Tribune puts on the Successful Aging Conference every year and it's full of wonderful resources. But where did it start? How did that phrase and question come about? So you see on the slide here, the largest successful aging study in the world was led by two gerontologists, Dr. Rao and Dr. Khan. They set out to answer this question. If we remove the genetics that we get from our parents and grandparents that predispose us for certain cognitive and physical conditions, if we set that aside, what, does, what conditions, what attitudes, what behavior set up one 85-year-old to be seemingly young forever, thriving forever, and another one in a similar economic, socioeconomic, physical condition really just start declining? What makes one person age more successfully than another? Dr. Rowe and Dr. Khan set out to study 10,000 volunteers, older adults, 65 and older, for 10 years. And they published a book called Successful Aging, and you see on the slide exactly what their research came out to mean. Successful aging means practicing three things. Number one, high cognitive and physical function. You have to keep on working on your cognitive and physical health. Engagement with life is having a purpose, something where you get up and you need it. You're contributing somewhere, somebody needs you. You have a reason to get up and go do your mission. That's engagement with life. And then of course, doing what you can to avoid disease and disability. These three things as practice come together as the core of successful aging. Well, by the time that study came about, San Diego Oasis has been doing that exact same thing for 20 years already. And of course, we continue doing that. That study just validated everything we organically, intuitively set out to do. So you see right behind the graphic from the book is our mission statement. So what Oasis does is engages older adults, 50 and older, to Continue lifelong learning so we stimulate our cognitive health. Intellectually, we're stimulated. Number two, we take care of our body so it can stay strong as we age. Number three, we train older adults to work with low-income children and we create lots of meaningful missions and purposes where you get up and you have something important to do and change somebody's life. So we've been doing this for 38 years now. So let me show you a quick video about what Oasis looked for 38 years prior to March 13th when the state of California asked us to shut down along with everyone else. We had zero virtual programs. We had 50,000 older adult members who are very loyal and very engaged in what Oasis has to offer. And we would offer these programs in two full-time locations and 30 to 40 other part-time locations. So join me in watching a few minutes of what Oasis looked like. Welcome to San Diego Oasis, where we engage adults 50 and over in the practice of successful aging. We learn new skills, get fit, and most importantly, have a wonderful time. Take a class in history, technology, finance, learn a new language or a new dance step. Do something for your mind, your body, and your community. Visit us at sandiegooasis.org today. 
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, let me show you now what Oasis looks now after March 13th when we have no physical, no in-person programs happening at all. Everything 100% is virtual. Please enjoy watching the video. The getting together part, the connecting up part seems to be, um, yeah, it gets more important the older you get. It's just like a family. They just take care of us and each, and we try to take care of each other. I kind of got depressed. It was heartbreaking just to not be able to continue. with the Tai Chi class, so good to see everybody. Hi everybody and welcome to sewing class. Bienvenidos a la clase de español. We're back baby! Let's go back. <laughs> this is a beginning painters class. Welcome to our little virtual class. What does wisdom look like when all normalcy has been torn away? Five, six, three, five to the right, and clap. I really miss all of you, so thank you for being here, really, I really appreciate it with all my heart, con todo mi corazón. I am so happy to see you, all of you, I've missed everybody, and how's everybody doing? Is everybody well? Yes. It makes you feel like a part of something again. Yes, it really does. Yes. It's true. Well, we are. But really, it felt like a reunion, like a homecoming. Just getting together like this now almost feels like being in the class again. And this has been real special today. Yesterday, when I got to see everybody, it was just a joy all over again. They say, Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Welcome back. Hope you saw what a big contrast that was, engaging seniors online versus being in one classroom, having that in-person energy. How did we do this? So you see on the slide our timeline. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but basically the bottom line is San Diego Oasis did not miss a single day. We went from zero virtual programs to about 200 programs virtual only online. It was not easy, and as you can imagine, we didn't know if, we, if this would work. Could we engage lots and lots of older adults, or should we just give up and say, it's just too hard, seniors don't have the technology, they don't have the skills they need, they're frustrated, this is never gonna work. Well, we took a chance, we worked really hard, and you saw what happened. Fairly magical, I would say. Now, let's back up and I want to share a few things that are not changing in our experience of lifelong learning with older adults and healthy living with older adults for 38 years. Take a look. Why are seniors reluctant to use the technology and how do they want to learn technology once they're ready? So let's start with the bottom. The most preferred method of technology that seniors tell us year after year after year is in person with a trained professional who understands how older adults learn, who will go at the right pace with the right font and the right rhythm to continue learning. That is the preferred, number one, in person by a trained um, instructor. The last popular option is from your child or grandchild. Now, nothing against our family members, but our seniors tell us year after year, they talk really fast, they use terms I don't understand, and they're done with me after one quick, let me show you how. And then the next time I say, well, how do I do this again? They're like, you know, Gramps, I, I'm done with you. So it's important if you are a caregiver, if you are a family member, and you probably are asked, show me how to do this. Can, can, can I master this? Can I do this? Have the patience. Be ready for repeat, build your skills, interaction, and be kind. One day you will be a senior and you will need the help of the quickly changing technology that you will need help mastering. 
On the top, as you see, there's why. We are unfamiliar with new technology. It keeps changing. We keep being frustrated. There's no one qualified to teach or if they know how this technology works, they're too fast for us to understand. And then the most important thing, where do you go where you need that technical support? Technical reinforcement, show me again. I think I got this, but I'm afraid to push this button. I'm afraid I'm gonna break this technology. So this is what we know year after year of seniors, older adults telling us about technology. And we teach technology every single week. So let's go back and revisit our virtual world. Oasis now has been on Zoom teaching about 200 classes and workshops in lifelong learning and healthy aging um, every single day. You see on the screen there, there is no magic device. Very often I'm asked by family members, which device is the best for my grandma or grandpa or my elder? You see half of the people, half of the seniors are on Windows, about a third are on Mac, then there's some on iPad, and then a variety of other smart devices. Um, all of the devices are good, as long as the older adult is ready to start the virtual engagement, and as long as there's support to know how to use it. Overnight, Oasis also became an international organization, which, you know, Prior to March 13th, we served a very, very focused uh, audience. These were people who are 50 and older, so many generations, 50, 70, 90, 100 and few, but they all had to come to a physical location within San Diego County because that's where we're located. Overnight, because very many senior centers, senior programs closed for goods and have been closed since March, suddenly we were discovered by the world. So you see on the screen here, we are so grateful to offer our high quality programs for seniors to everyone. Canada, Australia, United States, Brazil, Mexico. And so if you have a loved older adult somewhere who speaks English and would enjoy joining us for art, history, philosophy, healthy aging, dancing, meditation, nutrition, tell them about it. We are here for one purpose, to provide quality programs and engage older adults who continue to be the most isolated audience everywhere in the world as we're bracing ourselves for the second wave of the pandemic. Now, how difficult? We ask every week all of the people who come and enjoy uh, the Zoom program with us, was it difficult to use? So you see, very easy, extremely easy is the majority of the answers. Yet, there is that 4% that did struggle and found it difficult to use. If you go to the next slide, you'll see that same 4% was the one that was, had a poor experience because they struggled with the technology. But what that tells you is majority of the older adults who came got very good or excellent value out of the program. They have gotten themselves to the point of showing up, learning to mute, unmute, and they've enjoyed it. Now, if you are a program developer in the healthcare space, or you're thinking about how to engage your uh, family members who are older, who are alone for a very long time, starting to experiencing some mental health issues, which we see rapidly um, ramping, what's positive and negative about these lessons we've learned of being very much in person to online? I'll mention one that falls in both categories, both positive and challenging, is that we no longer have a printed book. You may know that older adults prefer something on paper, something that's printed, and we used to print that publication. We used to print a four-month catalog with 150 pages where all the upcoming programs were listed, and if you were an older adult, you could mark what you're interested in and show up in class. We no longer publish anything. We don't mail anything, it's all virtual. So that is challenging for those that want that piece, piece of paper with a calendar and a clear outline of what it is. Because perhaps navigating and clicking on different places and discovering the favorite class you want to find might be challenging. However, the positive of it is that we teach anything that's interesting and stimulating. So if there's something interesting going on in Supreme Court, 
and we think it's a good idea to put the class on, we could call up the instructor who's a legal expert and say, we want to do a program on this. Are you available next week? And we could publish that program online. We could send an email to everyone. And this way, there's no cost. The topics can be extremely timely. And we could welcome feedback from older adults and say, I'm really interested in that. Why aren't you offering a class in that? So for us, it's been a very good experience to be extremely 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 good about saying if that's what you need we will provide it to you zoom fatigue is a thing um, those that have been very much involved with us uh, fall into two categories either i'm loving this this is saving my life and my sanity or sometimes i'm just zoomed out i'd rather just sit home and do nothing for a while and then i might be ready to come home also uh, some communication rules have changed at a very bad time for all of us. Um, as you may have noticed, in every area of life, lots of emails that you used to get in your inbox are now ending up in your junk mail. And if you're older and you've never really dealt with junk email box before, again, it's, it's another barrier, it's another challenge of why am I not getting the email? You, sent, you, you said you sent me the Zoom link. Why am I not seeing it? You didn't send. So there's a lot of frustration to this and there's a lot of people. So for us to be able to educate each person at a time, here's how you find your junk folder. This is what that means. There's probably gonna be a lot of junk, but you have to fish out those important emails that used to show up here and now they're here. And then you have to click another link that says, I trust this uh, place to send me an email. Unless you do all this, you may or may not get all the calendars, all the notifications you're actually expecting from us. So that's been an unfortunate timing of a good overall rule that's making creating another challenge for older adults. Another great thing that has happened, so one of our corporate sponsors, Cox Communications, at this very difficult time, especially for seniors who are mostly isolated and most vulnerable to the pandemic situation, we've created a new partnership to provide a full year of free technology classes to any senior anywhere in the world who can speak English. So on the screen, you see just a uh, a few examples of what's coming up in the next three months. But what this means is there is no longer a cost of barrier. As long as you speak English, as long as you know how to find and register online, these classes are for different levels of technology users from the very, very beginning. Somebody who might be showing up for iPhone 101 and who's expecting to start in their peer group. You know, it's 101, we're gonna unbox the phone, we're gonna find the power button. That's where that education starts. All the way to perhaps some of the older adults that lost their jobs in this pandemic environment and they want to brush up on Excel and PowerPoint and other skills. So there is a little bit of everyone. And what a gift, not only to the local seniors, but really the world that was brought to you by this partnership of Cox Communications and San Diego Oasis. Now we have dreams and I want to sh share one dream with you um, because this is so, so timely and it is for seniors but it's also for every family caregiver that is facing or will be facing a difficult choice in the future. We want to create, with Cox Communications help and other corporate partners help, the Oasis Innovation Center. In the picture there you see our largest location. Our largest location, about 10,000 square feet, is located in La Mesa, California. We are inside the Grossmont Center Mall, and you would probably think that's an odd place for a senior organization, a nonprofit organization, to be in a mall. But I want to tell you it's actually the best, the very best place to be for a senior organization, and this is why. If you're familiar with the traditional senior center, it is a place typically far away from anyone else, somewhere really hidden, far away, where if you go there for programs and services, you will never see another different person. You will only see people like you who need that program and service. 
If you come to a mall, you are stimulated just by walking on site. There's a coffee shop and a lunch place and you can have yoga at Oasis and then take a philosophy class and then find a new friend and grab a, a book at Barnes & Noble and return for something else. It's a really stimulating place to be. It's a very safe place to be. Again, as an older adult, if it's dark, it's very nice to have 24-hour security in the mall. That will be happy to walk you to your car. Um, so that is why we're in the mall, and that is why we want to create our dream, the Oasis Innovation Center, right there in the next storefront where we already are. Now, why is this needed? It's because it doesn't exist yet. All of us at some point, whether you're like me, uh, maybe in your 40s, and you're taking care of your children, your family, you have your full-time work, and you have your parents and your grandparents, there comes a time to where you start feeling the pressure. Do I move my mom to a, a facility? Is there some technology sensor, something that would help me keep my mom at home and help me monitor to make sure she's opened the fridge, she's had some lunch, she's gotten out of her bed, and she can stay longer at the place she wants to be, which is her home. We want to build out a telehealth center on site so the caregivers and the older adults can come and experience and learn what it's like to start getting care via telehealth because that is the future. So many of us at every age group and socioeconomic spectrum will receive lots of care in the future via telehealth. We want to have that on site and train all of us of how to use, how to be comfortable with it. We want to build out a full smart home all those sensors and technologies available so that you can come and experience of what that means and how it can help. We want a genius bar for seniors. Um, Apple Store is a great place to go, but there is that barrier of, you know, everybody who works there is, seems to be 17 years old and they speak Chinese for all I care. And if they're going to show me something, it's going to be so fast that I'm just going to be overwhelmed and still not sure if I can master my iPhone. We want to create a genius bar for seniors that is senior friendly, that is there full time. And if you forget something, if you need that workbook, if you need a reminder, it's there for you as a full on going on tech support help. And finally, we want this place to support innovation. I'm sure many of you have seen ugly shoes that are made for seniors or some other product that is good for seniors. It's just so something we don't want to use. We have 6,000 older adults coming through our doors every single day. So what a gift would it be for all of us if entrepreneurs could get instant feedback about the product or service they're thinking about developing. And seniors could say, yeah, I would wear this, or yes, this sounds good, or no, this is so small I can't even read it. So to support all good innovation and research that we, we our seniors, our local San Diego people, our inventors, our entrepreneurs, our research institutions could come together and bring everything aging and technology together. We're just so excited about the vision for that place. And we need a few more investors to make that a reality. So if you know someone, a company or an individual who would like a, who could help us to implement this dream and build this dream, please um, get in touch with us. Let me tell you a little bit about that last part. So we said we love stimulating our cognitive health, intellectual learning. We take care of our bodies as we age to make sure we stay strong. The last part of this is creating that meaningful connection to the community. We are aging in unprecedented numbers. Um, right here in San Diego County, as you know, we will double the number of older adults, 65 and older. If you did not know, uh, we will, that number here in San Diego County will be over a million older adults. And if I asked you, what do you think is the fastest growing segment? Is that 65 plus, 75 plus, 85 plus? What is the fastest growing segment we've never seen before? And that is 85 plus. We will have more than ever 85 plus year old residents, neighbors, uh, family members who will have a very, very long lifespan and hopefully an engaged and meaningful, healthy lifespan ahead of them. So what do we do at Oasis to provide an incredible gift to the older adult and to the community? It's called intergenerational tutoring. And we've been doing this again for almost 40 years. 
So you see some pictures of actual older adults in the tutoring program and the kids. Um, I took those pictures myself in the Escondido School District last year as we were giving some books away. What that program looked like is this. We ask our members, do you have time? Do you love to read? Would you take an hour every week and meet with a elementary school student who is struggling to read and write at grade level? And we're talking about students kindergarten through fourth grade. Statistically, we know that if you do not, as a student, read and write at grade level by fourth grade, there's a direct statistical correlation to never graduating from high school, never holding a steady job and a, a straight line to um, incarceration and juvenile hall. So we definitely want to support every student for whatever reason that they are behind while they're so eager and willing to learn. But we need to provide resources because as we know, school budgets are only shrinking. Um, teachers are reporting to be overwhelmed with larger and larger classrooms and they just cannot provide individual help to every student that needs it. We take the volunteers who self-identify who want to be trained, we give them all the lesson plans for each grade level, we place them in a Title I school. If you don't know what Title I school means, is it means that at least half the students there qualify for the free lunch program. So we go where the need is greatest. And then the teacher is the one who says, these three kids in my classroom really need help. I would love to have three volunteers who I can match with three students. And every week for a full year, these students and older adults will read, draw, learn words, write sentences, laugh, find out what they have in common, really create confidence, self-esteem, and eventually better reading, better writing, better vocabulary, and better scores. So who's the winner in all of this? The teacher is getting much needed help for her classroom. The scores are going up. The student thinks it's pretty cool that they have their own person that shows up just for them. And let me tell you, very, very often, that older adult who shows up every Wednesday at nine o'clock in the classroom for you with the books about what you are interested in is the only adult that is there for you to support you no matter what. That might be the only person that always has time for you, that is always taking time to explain something if you're not getting it. It's not a principle, he or she does not issue grades, so it's very, very much a positive reinforcement. So you see, the model was clear. We train them, we place them in schools, they go to a classroom, they know their teacher, they know their student, and they work with that setup for a full year. Well, March 13th hit, and none of that was possible. We don't have children in school, we can't go on campus, and there's nothing like that. Should we have given up and just said, you know, let's just wait till this pandemic over, or not? What you see on the screen are, again, our actual tutors, who have retrained themselves of how to use online tools to make sure they still show up for their students, even though it's much, much harder and complicated. So you see, yes, you can draw a weird cat as you're reading a poem. You can do a word search online. You can have a dialogue back and forth as you're mastering a book or a phrase or a story. These brave older adults have retrained themselves with our help to continue to fulfilling that mission. I want to help a child to not fall even further behind. Some of the children we serve, um, I have to tell you, this is how that goes in the pandemic times. Not every student has a device and an internet connection at home right now as we speak. Most of us are happy to, uh, wonderful that we have it at home or have gotten it from the district, but there's still lots of school districts right here in San Diego where families come in a car once a day or once a week and they pick up their meal for the family, they pick up their homework packet, and then they pick up some tutor resources and books that Oasis is there to provide them to make sure they have a book to read, they have words to remember, and they could meet um, with their tutor over the phone, in person, or at least wave through the window. So we want to continue that meaningful investment that is literally changing a, a little person's life for the lifetime trajectory to make it better. 
Now, we're here in the Union Tribune Successful Aging Expo. There's a lot of caution around older adults and products and services that are provided to them. There's so many scams and untrustworthy organizations that want to take advantage of our older adults. So who do you trust as a, somebody who's trying to connect your favorite older adult to the right service and program? I'm not going to go through the slide, but um, I, my advice would be, clearly, if you see San Diego Oasis is a nonprofit. We've been around for almost 40 years helping older adults. We are winning major awards for senior education and programming. It's, it's a trustworthy place. And I would say it would be the same if you look for different kinds of services and resources. Look for nonprofit. Visit their website. See if they're winning awards, if they have clear mission statement, if they have a track record of doing just what they promise they can do. We are extremely proud to be the 2020 County of San Diego Public Champion Award. Uh, the county recognized us for the tremendous effort we put in to make sure we don't stop serving the most vulnerable population, our older adults. So a few final thoughts for you as we start to, to wrap up and get ready for the questions and comments. You know, there's a lot of the old adage of what today's older adult is that is really actually incorrect. We need to have that cognitive dissonance, many of us, to refresh what that means. Um, I'll start by sharing a very recent um, article that Kaiser News published on the resiliency of older adults. If you think about older adults, they're not necessarily frail and needing basic service and if you give them some information it has to be you know senior friendly and diluted in some way. Today's older adult is the best educated older adult in the history of the world. They're very independent, they're self-sufficient, they're mission driven, they want to take care of themselves and they want to contribute. There's this I want to help, I want to be engaged, I want to contribute sense. And you know when we think of can older adults learn new things, can they start participating in unknown uh, programs, I would say absolutely. And Kaiser reaffirms, remember older adults have been through pandemics, through famines, through economic downturns, through personal heartbreaks, through maybe really difficult um, cognitive and physical health periods. So they are conditioned to be resilient and come back strong and try something new. Also, from our experience, I've mentioned we have 50,000 older adults as members. And we see them, and you saw them through the videos. They're learning something new every single day. So I can tell you for sure, your older adult, your mom, grandparent, older neighbor, someone living in Canada who's living alone and is, is just really, just you're concerned, can and will participate and learn new things. So make sure you tell them about Oasis. You know, professors love us because when they show up to teach a program, whether that's philosophy or language or history or technology or art, history or actual arts and crafts class, they love being at Oasis because everybody who's there wants to be there. They're so eager to tap into the instructor's knowledge. They're always staying for Q&A. They're always interested to go deeper and ask for extra resources after class. So also, once you show up for a poetry class, let's just say, it's instant connection. As we age, as you can imagine, we no longer have colleagues because we're no longer working. Uh, the neighborhood may be changing, so the friends and neighbors we used to have are no longer so easily accessible to us. So how do we find? Suddenly we're 80 years old and we need our friends are moving away and they perhaps are, their health is failing and we're finding we need to find new friends. Where do we look? Where do we find them? So Oasis is one that place because, again, if you show up at a poetry class, everybody there because they care about poetry. You can throw out your favorite poet's name and, and perhaps cite a, a quote and everybody would be excited to hear. It's an instant way to connect. It's an instant network of new friends. Finally, um, I want to leave you with a statistic on funding and that 
is dependent on all of us and how we advocate and what kind of future we want to have here locally and in the United States and California as we age. If you were to add up the entire pie of funding, and I'm talking federal funding, state funding, philanthropy, private donations, foundations, uh, Schwab and other commercial funds, all of it, all of it that is given to charity each year. The percentage of that total pie given to aging and seniors is 0.04. That is a staggeringly low number and it's unfortunately not changing year after year. 0.04 for the largest growing population that we know, statistically speaking, is here to stay for a very long time and completely change the world that, as we know it. So all of us, let's make sure we vote, we pay attention to local policies, state and national policies to make sure our seniors today and in the future and eventually us have a place that is meaningful to connect and to belong and to get services from. So I will leave you with a little bit of humor. Um, when we started the pandemic, uh, you know, we had to rethink everything and Zoom was new to all of us to the staff at OASIS, to the instructors who are now teaching virtually, to all of the participants who are coming for virtual classes. So I wanna share with you, if you haven't been on Zoom or you have a loved one who hasn't been on Zoom, we put a little video together on Zoom etiquette, what to do and what not to do. So enjoy. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you had uh, a good chuckle while watching that video with us. And now I'm here to hang out and read your questions and comments. And I would love to be a resource uh, to you, to your family, to your neighborhood. Um, and if you can't connect with me today, please take a note of my email or come visit us at sandiegooasis.org. We're here to stay and one thing I think it's clear to all of us, this pandemic will not be over next week or next month. So we together need to find the will, the positivity to help as many older adults as possible to get connected and get to use the technology that can bring joy and positivity to their life every single day. We will continue teaching classes online. We will continue technology skills training online every week, every month, until this pandemic is over. So thank you again for being part of this fair and this seminar. Thank you very much. <laughs>